Oh, that stitching. Zeracanian, is it? As a girl, I always dreamed of having drapes like these. Another month's coin gone in an instant. Guys, welcome, welcome, come on in. How's it going? This is Orpheus. And for today's video, I decided to go with the only faction I haven't made a video with yet. Some of you may know that I'm talking about Syndicate. And while Syndicate has been released in the June last year, we are actually nearing an anniversary of Novigrad expansion, which added the faction into the game. So any of you Syndicate players out there definitely have a reason to have a small celebration. Anyway, like I said, it's been almost a year since Syndicate first appeared in Gwent, and it is still the faction that does see the least amount of play among players of all the six factions in the game. I'd say the main reason for this is a part obviously for the reason that the not negligible number of players simply does not have the cards needed for a working deck is that Syndicate I'd say still does not offer a lot of plays to play outside of the meta and out of the anticipated set of cards that are present in almost every Syndicate deck out there. I mean, Madame Luisa and Savola are quite a meme combo. Some of the lower provision cost poisons like Fistek and Mutated Hounds are almost omnipresent. And I hardly ever see a Syndicate deck without a Dire Mutated Hound or Hammond lately or Adriano the Mink and I could possibly keep on going. So for these reasons I just tried to explain Syndicate is my last faction I haven't made a video with and while I originally tried to go for a Congregation deck, you know a lot of Fire Sorn spawning, Sacred Flame artifact and so on, it, eh, it did not perform. I mean I would be ashamed if I presented to you that deck since I played I don't know like 7-8 games in rankets with it with several variants of it actually and I've won like two I think. So anyway I decided to go with a good old wild card, Graydon, no Madame Luisa and Savola though. Take a look bros. In a way I think this deck is kinda western themed, at least within the boundaries of Gwent since this deck is about putting up a bounty and then hunting that particular unit until dead. And while I decided to drop Caleb Menge, there are still three usable bounties, two Slenders and one Witch Hunter to be used. In my opinion that's quite enough. One of those Slenders is usually a target of your leader's ability as it sings especially well with Graydon. Graydon, the Clint Eastwood of our deck, while Morielse, or however is his name pronounced, is quite capable of dealing with another bounty quite easily himself. He's the antagonist of this deck. Uh, what was his name in the movie? Sentenza? Was it Sentenza? Anyways, with this deck I rarely find myself short on coins so that's the reason I decided to drop some bounty summoners in favor of some money spenders. For example, Witre and Elidia, card I rarely see used, have proved to be much more effective for me than I would have expected. If you're using Azar Javed in the third round, you usually have to decide whether you want to protect your Imke or your Yuald Borsodi. That's quite often a tough nut to crack, but I rely on your horse Sans here. This deck goes especially well against Skellige, against Nilfgaardian and Northern Realms decks. So far the faction I had most troubles with are uh, monsters. In any case, let's get right into the shootout, because a hard day's work never hurt anybody, boys. 
So uh, on this high noon, our opponent is gonna be Skellige. The fire cleanses. Well, it's a blaze of glory, Skellige. So I can expect like Yuta and Dilmun. I mean, I don't need the slander in my hand, and I don't need an assault too. Oh, kind of mediocre draw here. Can I expect like a lot of reactive cards from him? Nah, I don't think so. He doesn't have any poison, so let's just buff our Slice Dectress a little bit so that he is unable to destroy it with like Gutting slash or a stunning blow. Like I said, uh, Skellige is one of the better matchups with this deck. So uh, I actually with this deck I haven't lost to uh, to Skellige yet. So let's hope that's gonna be the case even in this shootout. He's going crown, crown a clan preacher. Interesting. I'm not sure what to think about that. Should I destroy it right away with bloody good fun? I guess so. It may be the case that he either draw an unfortunate mulligan from him or uh, no. This is just the way he wants to play this. So, uh... Ah, where better to plant than in one's own lair? So, uh... He really wants the Crow Clan Preacher to be his first card on the board. He's going off meta. This I like. Skjall and Roach. Alright. I think uh, I should destroy uh, the preacher once again because it really seems uh, he's kind of fond of the card. So let's just give him a little something to think about. And I'm thinking, even though I usually use the U-World Borsodi in the third round, should I just like uh, destroy Skjall here? The Queen of Nothing like some overseas plundering and spreading. Should I? You know, let's go with fans. Fans with five. Uh, a uh, five point vitality is kinda good. I'll find this little marvel a nice home. And he's using delirium. I don't really mind. Let's go with let's go with you all. We'll help one another. We are five points ahead. And he's going Ermion. I can help you if you wish. I think we can go with pickpocket here. I did I destroyed all of his crows uh, just to be sure he doesn't go like Axel or something. 
those cards used to be yeah I think it's our time to pass here he certainly did have a lot of alchemy cards And now I'm wondering why he didn't use the um, Giga Scorpion decoction on the Uelt uh, Borsodi a little earlier. But perfect, now we've got Wither and Lydia. I don't need Slender in my hand. Is he gonna pass right away? Yep. Thanks so damn much. Anyone teach him to share? And uh, I would like to have a Graydon, Morelse, and Matahari in my hand. And Azar Javed, obviously. Good. Well. Well, I can work with this, I guess. We've got... Uh, we don't have Graydon. But I hope we can get to Graydon with uh, Rivaldi Bank. Or at least get Matahari with Rivaldi Bank. And obviously, Matahari would bring us Graydon in, in our hands. So, uh, yeah, it might be a little complicated. But I still think we can uh, get... The Clint Eastwood of our deck. Nothing tickles my tits quite like a good secret. He still can have like a. Uh, maybe I should have gone, you know, uh, Azar Javed first, just to protect our Slice Seductress. No, he already played a lot of reactive cards. So let's just stay a little on the safe side here. But then again, this is the tough net not to crack I've been talking about, because uh, if I'm gonna protect uh, Winter and Elidia on the melee row, our Imke on the ranged one is gonna stay unprotected, unfortunately. We've got Irden, it might be useful against uh, Gedinath. Oh, he can like. Yeah. Not you again. Bye, bye, defenders. <laughs> he still can have like a one Freya's blessing. He may have uh, Sigurd Drifas, right? Talking about alchemy cards, obviously, to give another charge for his uh, Gremist. And here comes Axel. I kind of thought he might have him. Alright, I didn't expect him to be so eager to destroy these kind of cards, but I guess whatever, 5, 4 and a 6 Gremist. He doesn't have anything at all in his hand still to destroy anything on our side of the board, I think, so let's just go with... Uh, Graydon, maybe? Yeah, let's go with Matahari. With me, you'll forget your sorrows. And now we have Graydon. Obviously, if he has like... Uh, I think he's gonna play... Uh, either Skial or... 
Yuta and Dilmun with uh, Sega Drifas, right? So let's just save our Graydon for that, I think. Yeah, let's uh, like uh, seize uh, Power. The a Crow Clan Preacher. And uh, let's save our Erden for his range Crow. It's kind of shame we didn't have any coin spenders like uh, Coerced Blacksmith and we did have to play uh, the Street Urchins card hey, in the second listen row, but I definitely don't think we are without a chance here. I guess I have to go Erden. I guess I have to. Not your lucky day. And we are in the lead by five points. We still have our leader's ability for Graydon. Crow Mother, he still has Crow Mother. Man, he, his deck kind of surprises me. And I think we might as well go Graydon right now because if he's gonna play Utah, it's gonna be the last card and I won't be able to react to it, so... Let's just go with uh, with Graydon and let's save uh, Morelse so that he can destroy any unit on the board. On his side of the board for that matter. So uh, let's go and we have only one option to go with here and it's Grimmist. Let's pay the tribute. And we have... We can actually... Yeah, let's go with shield here. So what should I destroy with... With the Sentenza heroes? Sorry, uh, Morelse. I think it's gonna be... Axel Free Eyes. Yeah, probably. Nothing turns my guts more than a filthy mage. And we are uh, 15 points ahead. One Utah is not quite enough. The goddess protects you from all evil. Yep, and we got this. It was pretty close. Like all shootouts are supposed to be, especially when they are going on at high noon. But uh, two points, wins a win, victory is a victory. So uh, let me know, guys, what do you think about this deck? Try it out. I think it's uh, it's quite simple to play, actually. And uh, like I just showed you against Skelliget, there are not uh, many options for you to go with. That may lead uh, to a uh, lose. So. Uh, with a lot of Skellige players out there in the current meta, this deck might just be the little something we all needed to get rid of those Islanders once and for all. And it doesn't matter at all whether you are rank 30 or pro rank, when it comes to decks countering the current meta, this Clint Eastwood desk deck is one of your top choices to go with right now and even though the game i just showed you was very close and it probably will not happen that often that you will crush your opponent by a 30 or more points margin it's fun to play easy to learn and in my opinion also quite easy to craft if you are still missing some of those cards being said 
thank you all guys very much for watching. Please let me know in the comments what do you think about this deck and also what do you think about Ursin Ritual Skellige not being nerfed in the last page. If you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe and if you do, I might just catch you on the flip side. See you guys here next time. Bye bye.